We're going to Paris! We are in Austin International Airport. We're about to head out towards Atlanta, Georgia for our layover. And then from Georgia, we are going all the way over to Paris. So I feel like I need to introduce you to my group that is traveling with me. We've got Madison McCullough. I love that. We've got Hayden, Melissa, and y'all know her. Passenger party to last name Boyle. If you're in the city area, so, please come We will see you guys when we get into Atlanta. This trip is all about overcoming. My my good after just broke. What problems did you have? Um, please, I just have to show I have money. I don't. <laughs> it said she needed a visa for some reason, and then we're also trying to fight the corona. <laughs> we had no idea. What snack did you get? Hardettos, Tweaks. Ooh. And Oh, that was just <laughs> Q fun travel music. We're in Atlanta and we are eating lunch right now. Um, we're in the international area so they kind of put like all the higher end bougie restaurants. Not a fan of that so I got some nachos, they got some payway, and then we found some hot dogs. But we've got about an hour and a half left until we get on our flight and then we head out for our eight hour flight to Paris. So see you guys on the plane.
It is 10.30 in Paris and we have the Louvre. And when you turn the camera around, off in the distance, way over there is the Eiffel Tower. Um, and so we're gonna be hanging out here for a while, taking a few pictures before we go eat lunch. reason that's the only way I know how to remember it um, we've been walking for a few miles and we also still haven't had any sleep so we're gonna see how the rest of the day goes sketchiest looking elevator I think I've ever been in my life. And, and here we go. And the problem is that I'm terrified. So hopefully I see you guys at the top. <laughs> we made it. And we are on our floor. The dog going crazy. This is scary. drinks. Hayden, what'd you get? A latte. She got a latte. Um, and so we're about to go in and everything's golden. I'll see you. It's crazy. See you on the inside. La mer. La mer. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes.
painting and architecture work, I mean, it's like nothing that you've ever seen. It's just, like, just look at the chandelier. And like, the walls. And the ceiling. <laughs> side of it. It's so cool. Uh, the symmetric uh, nature of all the design is really, really cool. Um, it would be really awesome to see it from all the way up there, but you can't. So we are now about to go eat some lunch and then we're going to make our way over to the opera house. So we'll see you there. A few moments later. on the metro um, so that's a great sign we are about to head to the Louvre and we're gonna see some fantastic artwork so I guess I will see you guys in there I've never been more stressed out in my entire life. I mean that with my entire heart. Story time is incoming. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> As you can tell, um, we look pretty rough. And the reason is because we've had the most rough day in the history of ever. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was really, really bad. Um, so it all started this morning. Um, at like what time? Like it was like between two and three. Between two and three a.m. Um, Donald Trump uh, announced that all uh, travel from 
um, Europe was canceled and that you had Starting till Friday. yeah you had Friday until Friday at midnight to come home um, and so we're thinking holy moly we're asleep and Melissa got like phone calls and text messages I wake up to like 85 text messages um, of everyone saying hey did you see this hey did you see this so Melissa and Madison and Hayden wake up and they instantly get on Delta to change the flights to today, just in case. Because we were originally supposed to leave out Friday morning at like 10 a.m., but we changed it to Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Or, 10. yeah, 10 a.m. So we wake up at like 3 o'clock. We start packing. We leave the Airbnb at 5 o'clock, get to the airport around 6, and we walk in and immediately... The longest line ever, um, all to talk to Delta's front desk. Yeah, there were like 200 people in line. And then to drop off our bags, just that took 45 minutes. (laughs) Just to drop off the bags, 45 minutes. And then here's the worst part. We go to the kiosk to get our tickets and it doesn't like, it doesn't let, it didn't let us choose our seats to begin with. It let us choose our seats from... Uh, Minneapolis to Austin, but not from Paris 